the settlement of the Czechoslovakian problem, which has now been achieved, is, in my view, only the prelude to a larger settlement in which all Europe may find peace. This morning, I had another talk with the German Chancellor, Herr Hitler. And here is the paper which bears his name upon it as well as mine. Some of you perhaps have already heard what it contains, but I would just like to read it to you. We, the German Führer and Chancellor, and the British Prime Minister, have had a further meeting today and are agreed in recognizing that the question of Anglo-German relations is of the first importance for the two countries and for Europe. We regard the agreement signed last night and the Anglo-German naval agreement as symbolic of the desire of our two peoples never to go to war with one another again. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. Колхозники и колхозницы, работники интеллигентного труда, братья и сестры привыкающих врагов, временно подпавшие под иго немецких разбойников, осенит вас непобедимое знамя Великого Лета. За полный разгром немецких захватчиков, смерть немецким оккупантам, на здравствуй наша славная Родина. Ее свобода, ее независимость. Вот с нами не влезем. Вперед, победа! in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air, we shall defend our island.
whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. <laughs>